Hey guys, what's up and welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you how to fix um, your games not showing up on Steam or Steam is showing that your games aren't installed. Let's get into it. Alright, so this video is going to be a bit different from what I normally upload and I just really want to share this with you guys if ever you also are having the same issue as I am where I have the game files right here but Steam is not showing it as installed and so um, what I found out is and th there could be various ways on how to do this and if you know a better and easier way please do mention it in the comment below that would be very much appreciated but yeah I'm gonna show you how I, how I did it Destiny 2 wasn't showing up earlier but because of what I did it started to show up I'm also gonna put links to the description in the video of where I was able to learn this and I was just uh, I tried to play with it a bit more and figure out a way how to install other games but yeah let's get into it sorry for talking too much so you might need a your note a notepad or anywhere you could paste text your steam app or the steam software or steam window whatever you want to call it and go to your steam library so if you don't know where that is uh, normally it's in normally it's in pro this folder and then that but i have it installed in my local d drive in games steam let's go to steam apps this is pretty much where you're going to do the work on how to fix the issue but yeah well first of all the issue exists because of these files right here these files are what will determine whether or not your games will pop up on your steam and these files correspond to each game that you have so for example this wasn't here earlier horizon zero dawn wasn't appearing let's just check it open with notepad that's player unknowns battlegrounds you can see it like that i think it was this one so open it yeah this is the one so this file didn't wasn't here earlier so what i did was i copied i duplicated one of the files i renamed it when it whatever needs to be renamed so i think it's a bit self-explanatory for these part at least like i figured that this this part was showing the 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 name of the game the name of the game and so i just tried to do that on the duplicated file as well and also the reason why you ha need to have the steam software open is because you're going to be searching that game that you want to install so for th this example i'm going to be installing i'm going to be installing dota 2 i was already able to do it with horizon zero dawn so let's do it with dota 2 so go to s the store search dota 2 right click here copy the page url paste it somewhere and this is what you're what you want to pay attention to yeah so we have this and let's go to common i'm not really sure if i should be putting dota 2 or this right here because it's it's what dota 2's name is in the directory but yeah let's go ahead and duplicate one of these rename it to 570 because that's what's the extension name of the dota 2 file is if you want to call it the extension go back to here because i'm just too lazy to type i'm just gonna copy that open it with notepad replace these with dota 2 i hope it's right i hope it's dota 2 beta and not just dota 2 but yeah let's go ahead and copy this right here on name id rather the app id save don't don't forget to save Control s to save and yeah that's pretty much it let's go ahead and try and see if it worked i'm gonna go ahead and restart steam to see if the, if it did work so let's just exit out of steam and relaunch it i hope this works if not damn i'm a terrible youtuber so uh horizon dawn appeared like this as well update queued so let's just try and see what that's like yeah so horizon zero dawn didn't immediately appear it still verified like the files so like what it's doing here it's validating the files it took uh at least three minutes 
let's check how big Horizon Zero Dawn is. So 68 gigabytes. Imagine if I just gave up on finding a solution and just re-downloaded the game. Man, that would be a pain in the ass. But yeah, if you guys know any better method than this, because I've already tried searching for various methods on how to do it, and most of them, most of the things that I was able to find didn't work for me, for my specific case. And this whole thing happened because I tried to transfer the game files by copying pasting it in another drive and that sort of like screwed up with the directory or something but yeah if these files aren't in your directory in your steam apps go ahead and do this but before you do this you might want to try because some of these are was already here when I tried this I was, I was I'm not even really sure why some of them disappeared but yeah this is sort of like the fix for it but yeah to find out if you happen to have like some of these files but not all of them for all of the games that you have in your library um, go ahead and check them out just right click it open with notepad and you'll see what game that file is for so yeah this is for player unknowns battlegrounds so long story short if you already have like the game files and they aren't showing up in your steam uh, library these are the files that are responsible for that you want the first thing you want to do is go ahead and check if they're in the previous drive or folder that you copy and paste it from like for me it came from i copied it from the this drive right here hdde i've already deleted all the files but this is where I got some of the, let's just call it app manifest files. I don't even know if I'm making any sense. So yeah, as you can see, Dota 2 showed up uh, first. It was downloading, but then, I, but then it like sort of validated the files after finishing, like pre-allocating all the files. It immediately finished downloading. So yeah, I hope this was able to help you guys because honestly, as a, as a starting up tech channel, it's really getting frustrating whenever I try to like transfer files from drive to drive like especially when I'm trying not to re-download anything at all because that takes a lot of time but if you guys happen to know any method that's more efficient and faster than this uh, do let me know in the comments it's really appreciated and yeah I'll see you guys in the next video